Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you 10 latest defense updates. Number 1. GE applies for US clearance for tech transfer of jet engines to India. US aerospace engine major has applied for clearance of technology transfer for the F414 engine and F414 EPE that is enhanced performance engine that will clear the path for the company to not only set up a local manufacturing plant jointly in India with India's state-owned Hindustan Aeronautics Limited but also locally manufacture niche core engine section in the country. F414 INS6 engine an India specific engine that will incorporate single engine safety criteria higher performance and greater durability will be the first to be locally manufactured in India under TOT agreements that will allow India's HAL to manufacture this engine from raw material stages and also manufacture spares for the engines. Next, US likely to clear TOT for striker APC to India. U.S. administration is considering clearing the transfer of technology for the Canadian-American eight-wheeled armored fighting vehicles known as Striker to India, which will not only allow India to manufacture it locally, but also allow India to incorporate some of the technology of the armored fighting vehicle in its own arm, armored personal carrier. APC that are in development. While it is not clear if Indian Army is keen to purchase locally manufactured Striker APCs as a whole or want Striker APC tech incorporated into locally made APCs that are still under development. Next, DRDO working on space bond imaging radar. Electronics and Radar Development Establishment LRDE a Bengaluru lab of the Defense Research and Development Organization is in process of developing a space-borne imaging radar called Unfuriable Reflector Antenna, UFRA, that has potentially military elements. LRDE is not giving many details about the radar and its military role, but it is to meet the urgent demand for increased bandwidth by, with, by using car band and applying frequency reuse technology to increase satellite capacity. Next, Sikorsky S-92 chopper on offer to Indian military. Lockheed Martin, India's Vice President and Chief Executive William Blair speaking to the print said the Sirosky S-92, a large twin engine helicopter that can be used for both civil and military purpose, is an offer to the Indian military. Tata made S-92 cabin has been supplied to uh, Lockheed Martin from 2012 uh, uh, onwards and more than 157 cabins made by Tata from its greenfield facility in Hyderabad to Lockheed Martin. Next. Launch of Innovation Bridge will connect U.S. Indian defense startups, according to the White House. The United States and India concluded their U.S.-India initiative on uh, critical and emerging technology, ICET, meeting and decided to launch a new innovation bridge, which will connect both countries' defense startups, according to the statement released by the White House. The U.S.-India Initiative on Critical and Emerging Technology meeting was inaugurated by National Security Advisor Ajit Doval and his U.S. counterpart Jake Sullivan and was joined from the U.S. side by the Administrator of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, the Director of the National Science Foundation, the Executive Secretary of the National Space Council and senior officials from the Department of State, Department of Commerce, the Department of Defense, and the National Security Council. Next, Greek PM Mitsotakis to visit India with a significant delegation of business people. 
प्राइम मिनिस्टर कायरियाकोस मिथोस मिथसॉक सॉटकिस इज सीकिंग to diversify investment in greece and highlighted india as a key partner the greek leader reported nikkei asia is planning a state visit to india with a significant delegation of business people before the end of the year india is opening up and growing their companies are exploring their opportunities in the european market he said I can see a lot of interest by Indian companies in sections like pharmaceuticals adding that he welcomed investment in a new airport in his country next Adani group acquires strategic Haifa port in Israel for dollar 1.2 billion the Adani group on Tuesday acquired the strategic Israeli port of Haifa for US dollar 1.2 billion and vowed to transport the skyline of this Mediterranean city as part of its decision to invest more in the Jewish nation including opening an artificial intelligence lab in Tel Aviv Adani group chairman Gautam Adani whose business empire was rocked by allegations of fraud by US short seller Hindenburg Research appeared alongside Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for signing of the deal to take over haifa port the sp- and spoke of investment opportunities next iaf is reconsidering its rafael repeat orders after refusing to procure 36 rafael fighter jets as a repeat order in pursuit of cementing its request for 114 jets under the medium multi role combat aircraft competition iaf top brass is now seriously considering approaching central government and procuring 36 more rafale fighters jets in a government to government deal the previous air chief approved the procurement of 36 rafale fighter jets but things changed when the new air chief stepped in and pushed for 114 jets instead of the second batch of 36 rafale fighter jets due to delays in releasing the rfp and the united arab emirates and france having signed a dollar 19 billion arms deal in which the gulf state will acquire 80 rafale fighter jets india is no longer the number one contender for the dassault rifle next ocos offer is likely to sabotage india's lease of a russian nuclear submarine the uk wants to expand the trilateral exchange of nuclear submarines to india and japan so that both countries which are close allies and quad members can work together to combat chinese naval expansion in the region but not everyone in india is convinced defense analysis rani Ranesh Ranjan stated that the AUKUS was announced. The United States of America made it abundantly clear that the transfer of niche nuclear submarine technology is only available in Australia and not, and that no other country will receive the same offer. So what has changed now? Next, U.S. helping India to dominate IOR to counter China. according to pakistani think tank aisha bhat a phd scholar in international relations based in bahawalpur claims in her report that the indian ocean region ior a vital maritime route connecting asia africa europe and the americas is the southern indian ocean which contains the persian gulf and the arabian sea is directly impacted by the staff of malacca's role as a naval choke point which china regards as a serious issue and as a result it has begun more focused deployment of its naval india which dominates the ior region receives significant assistance from american administration which provides top ne- top notch tools as well as real time intelligence and information allowing india to use american geospatial data to attack adversary targets with extreme precision thank you